just when you thought your day really sucked. You suck. Here comes something to make it suck even more. It's a Lamont and Tonelli podcast. I will tell you this. Uh, we've had this guy on a few times. I'm a big fan, Anthony Jesselnik. Funny dude. Who is uh, playing uh, in the uh, in the Bay Area this week at San Jose Improv. Uh, do, do we have Anthony on the line? Anthony, are you there? Are you there, Anthony? Yes. All right. Okay. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you doing, man? Pretty good. Pretty good. About to get a lot better. <laughs> now, you're uh, you're coming to the Bay Area. You're at the uh, San Jose Improv for shows starting tonight and Friday and Saturday. Is that right? That's right. That is correct. And if we want tickets, let's get a, a quick plug in. Go to the uh, San Jose Improv uh, website. Click on through and uh, catch your show. Hey, uh, let, let me ask you this. The Academy Awards... I think you would be a great host for the Academy Awards, don't you? I think I would be good just for the in memoriam segment. <laughs> <laughs> a little comment on each person who uh, exactly went. just walk out and be like, "Here's who died. Here's who was like a good actor who died. Here's who you don't even know." But let's <laughs> run through them and try to offend as many people as possible. And you could do like a little mini roast and have like one shot for each guy who uh, who died. <laughs> Exactly. It would be way more entertaining. <laughs> when, uh, speaking of roast, uh, when is the next roast yard? Are you still doing the roast on Comedy Central? I think so. I think so. I didn't get to do the last one. They, they made me sit out the uh, James Franco one. I think I was a little too, I was a little too mean for them. But uh, hopefully I'll be back. Uh, hopefully I'll be back, I think, at the end of the summer. Oh, is that right? One. They try now, to do a couple of years, yeah. How, how far in advance do you, uh, do you know who you're going to be roasting? Not very far in advance at all because it's so hard to lock someone in. Right. Nobody wants to go through that. Yeah. So they're like, they kind of schedule, like, let's try to do one at the end of the summer, and now let's try to work on getting someone. And sometimes they get them last minute. It's rarely more than like a month in advance. And then right up until the day of, they're adding people to that stage. Now, now, so if, you're always you're always right. If they came to you and they said, Anthony, we're, we're at a loss. We don't have everybody planned for the next show. Yeah. Who would you pick if they came to you? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. I always and people get mad at me when I answer this, but I always say I would love to roast Casey Anthony. <laughs> Tell me that wouldn't be amazing. Yeah, that would be a good one. <laughs> that would be absolutely amazing. <laughs> you guys would watch that. Would be oh, the best. Damn right, I'd watch that. <laughs> hey, uh, has anyone ever got really pissed off at you at the roast? Uh, yeah, people have gotten a little upset with me. Uh, it's especially the roast is especially tough on women. Yeah, and I remember the uh, I remember Marley Matlin got very upset with me on my first roast. <laughs> really? I had made a joke. They even cut it out of the roast because they're like, "This is the meanest joke in the whole show." All right, now I've sure got to hear yeah. the roast. I've got to hear the joke. Yeah, I said, "Let me remember it." I said, uh, "I said Marley Matlin." You've had an amazing career, despite having one of the biggest handicaps an actress can possess. Uh -huh. You're ugly. Oh! <laughs> and hold it, they cut that they out? They cut that out? They cut it. She, everyone was upset. People didn't even laugh at it. It was, like, so mean. And <laughs> afterwards, I kept trying to go up to him and be like, hey, Marley, it's a roast. You know, we right. don't know each other, but, you know, I was just trying to be funny. I think you're beautiful. Yeah. But if a deaf person wants to ignore you... <laughs> They can ignore you forever. There's literally nothing you can do to get there with that. If I remember, she was capping on herself pretty uh, pretty much right. that night. Yeah, and she 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 could do it to herself a little bit. I don't think she even enjoyed that, but uh, <laughs> she was not happy with me. Not and happy with me at all. Anthony Jesselnick performing San Jose Improv this weekend. Uh, tonight a show at 8 o'clock. Friday there's two shows. Saturday there's two shows. Always a treat talking to you. One of these times we want you in the studio. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm sorry I couldn't get in this morning to come hang out with you guys. The next time, I'm in for sure. All right. Anthony Jesselnick, uh, thanks for calling in. We'll talk weekend, to you next man. time. Have a great weekend in San Jose. Thank you, guys. Take care. All right. Another fine product from Uranus. That concludes the Lamont and Tonelli podcast. To hear more and everything Lamont and Tonelli, check out the website at lntworld.com.